Key developments in remote ID, EVILOS flight, and special use airspace. The Georgia Public Safety Drone Summit, held today at Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta, showcased significant advancements in drone regulations by the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. The sold-out event, sponsored by drone responders, brought together first responders, government officials, and law enforcement from across the region to discuss the future of drone operations in public safety. FAA's commitment to enhancing drone regulations, Quiron Thompson, FAUAS Program Design and Analytics Division Manager, delivered the first keynote address, focusing on the agency's ongoing efforts to strengthen the regulatory framework governing drone operations. We're committed to improving the regulatory structure and to do it in a way that doesn't stifle innovation, Thompson emphasized. Advancing beyond visual line of sight, Bavalas operations, Thompson provided an update on the FAA's progress with Part 108 rulemaking, which focuses on regularizing drone flight beyond visual line of sight, Bavalas. The FAA has been developing these regulations for several years, recognizing the potential of Bavalas operations to transform various industries, including public safety. Last year, the FAA issued a series of groundbreaking waivers designed to facilitate commercial Bavalas operations. These waivers serve as templates, allowing companies to operate drones beyond the pilot's line of sight under specific conditions. The agency is now preparing to release a rulemaking that could significantly expand commercial Bavalas operations. Once enacted, this rule could revolutionize applications such as Drone as First Responder, DFR, where drones provide critical situational awareness and deliver life-saving equipment to inaccessible areas. Addressing special-use airspace and QS technology, in addition to Bivalas, the FAA is also working on Part 2209, which pertains to the establishment and modification of special use airspace, SUA, for drone operations. This regulation is essential for managing airspace in areas where operations require restricted or controlled environments, such as military training zones or critical infrastructure sites. Thompson also acknowledged the growing need for expanded access to counter unmanned aircraft systems, QAs, technology. Law enforcement agencies require effective tools to protect critical infrastructure, such as prisons, from rogue drones. However, current regulations limit the authority of these agencies to deploy QAs technology. Thompson assured attendees, We hear you and we are working on it emphasizing the FAA's support for expanding QA's capabilities while ensuring that new technologies do not interfere with other transportation operations. We fully support the expansion of capabilities to our partners while ensuring that the cure is not worse than the disease, Thompson stated. Looking ahead, the FAA's ongoing efforts in advancing drone regulations are crucial for the future of public safety and commercial drone operations. As the agency continues to develop and implement rules for remote ID, bevy loss, and special use airspace, the potential for drones to enhance emergency response and other critical operations will only grow. The Georgia Public Safety Drone Summit provided a valuable platform for discussing these developments and their implications for the industry.